How's it going everybody? Today we are working on platforms in the Blender game engine. You ever have the problem when you're making a platformer where when you move around on the platforms and you stop moving that your character just falls right off? So that's what we're going to be working on today. So in this example I made two scenes and this one is using the character and that's the one you just saw where we fell off and if you stand in the center of platforms you're fine but as soon as you move out to the end of the platform, the character just slides right off. And that's what we want to get rid of. So if we go into our other scene, this is the scene where I have changed a few things and then starter player, we'll just start into this one. You can see we move around and when we go onto the edge of the platform, we do not fall off. Our character isn't rotating with the platform, kind of staying in the same orientation that you want it to but we are standing on the edge of the platform. And if we move, we can go to the other platform. I added a little uh, sprint mechanic. So we just do that again, go to this platform and then so on and so forth. So what you're gonna wanna do is go new, reload a startup file. What you normally do is delete the cube, delete everything in the scene. So I'm gonna go shift A and make a cube. And this is going to be our platform. So we'll scale it down and then scale it on the X axis. And now we have a little platform. We're gonna go to the physics tab, leave it on static. Don't turn any of these on, just turn on collisions. That way our character will interact properly with it. And we're going to turn the friction to two. So what we can do now is add a, another cube. This cube up here, scale it down. This is gonna be our player. Now, what we're going to do is instead of put it on character, because this does not work. When you put it on a character, you cannot control the friction or how the character reacts other than jump and slope. What you're going to want to do is go to dynamic, add a capsule, and then what we're going to do is turn the friction to 16. Now, what we're going to do is when we press P, you can see character falls down. I'm going to add a sun. That way I can see what I'm doing here. And it just looks a little nicer. Maybe give this guy a little color. Make him blue. Make the platform red. All right, that looks pretty good. Now what we're going to do is go into game logic. When we go into game logic, we're going to add an always and a motion. Connect those two together. And what we'll do is set this to 0.5. Now, if we press P, it will be spinning on the Z axis, 0. 0.5 degrees per tick. So, okay, that looks pretty cool. We're kind of getting the same effect, effect that we had in the example. But when we move the player out to the end, we do not fall off the platform. Now, if you were to turn this character from dynamic to character, press P, you just instantly slide right off. So you want this on dynamic. Now, a problem. So we are on dynamic instead of character. When you're on character, you can add a motion, character motion and jump. So this will allow you to add a jump without any coding or anything. Nice, simple, easy to use. But now that we're on dynamic, we can't do that anymore. So what we're going to do is add a keyboard, add a space bar for our jump, and then we're going to press T for motion. So this keyboard, we wanna have it on tap. Then we're going to add a collision. I just press C to add collision. So when the player collides with anything, any object in the scene, it will allow you to jump. Unless you only want to be able to jump on certain platforms, you can also do that. So what we want to do is instead of using the motion, we are going to use a force. And we're going to put this to about 300. This will get you about the same height as the regular character controller. So what we're going to do is press P. And when we jump, you can see we got a regular jump, like so. Now that fixes your jump problem. And then the rest is pretty simple. You just add a keyboard. We'll add a, we'll put D, since this is kind of like a 2D side scroller, we'll add D to go on the X axis. Just add a, another motion. And this time we can use the regular location. So we just add to 10. So when we press D, we move around, we can jump. All right, well, that's about it for this simple little tutorial. Hope it helped, hope you enjoyed. If you did, give her a like. Thank you, 
and I'll see you in the next one.